Special Citizens News Report. Resolution passes without reservation as the IPU draws to a close. We hear from parliamentarians and the IPU Secretary General. The closing session of the IPU Assembly has just finished, where we saw the IPU resolution, access to health as a basic right, the role of parliament in addressing key challenges to securing the health of women and children, passed without reservation. Co rapporteur Honorable Paula Turiahikayo highlighted for parliamentary action the critical importance for human resources for health, with special mention of midwives, and also gave particular focus to the role parliamentarians must play in closing the finance gap for maternal, newborn, and child health. Incinda Elman called the reactions from the close of the assembly. I think that this is a landmark decision that has been taken. This is the first time, if I'm not mistaken, that the global parliamentary community has come together and has adopted unanimously a resolution to commit, uh, committing the parliamentary community to accelerating the achievement of MDG 4 and 5. I believe commitment and political will is what has brought Sri Lanka to, that, to this position. And I believe if all the other countries can think of giving top priority for these areas, they can also reach targets that we have very, very at, at, at difficult times we have achieved. The women's parliamentarians, we have an outreach that we do to inform and educate people about this and we are also putting motions in Parliament to ensure that what our governments have committed themselves to are implemented. So what we have achieved here is to agree as parliaments from all over the world. What we will do back home is to domesticate it and ensure that women and children's health are always on the front burner. Parliamentarians are being asked to do using their lawmaking oversight and representational functions to make sure that MDGs 4 and 5 are properly resourced, that adequate policies are put in place to accelerate the achievements of these MD MDGs, and that partnerships be fostered between parliaments, not only between parliaments, but also between parliaments and other stakeholders such as civil society organizations, such as other development partners in the UN system. So together we can work to build capacity to implement MDGs 4 and 5 by 2015. Earlier today, we spoke to the IPU Secretary General, Anders Johnson. We will be monitoring the implementation through our reporting back exercise, but we are also having increasingly programs in specific parliaments where we're bringing expertise at the request of those parliaments to sit down with committee members and help them revise their laws to make sure that there is possibility for access to public health, etc. So, Resolutions provide a framework and we will follow up with several parliaments at the national level. Uh, you've heard about the White Tribune Citizen. I have, I have. You've done a very good job here in, in Kampala. You've been very extremely active and, uh, and supportive and, uh, and you need to keep up that effort because uh, uh, at the end of the day it's, uh, it is by keeping focus on the, the issues that we are concerned with, uh, helping parliamentarians, providing them with information, uh, giving them courage to speak out on issues like this, uh, which sometimes uh, are not maybe the most popular issues for a politician. How will you push the resolution in your country? Connect with WIA on Twitter and Facebook.